The Triple X Forester 2. You've been looking at it on the website and you're wondering if it's the right knife for you. Stick around and maybe what I show you will help.
Triple X Forester II. So this knife was given to me by my wife uh, about a year and a half ago as a gift on my retirement. I had given a lot of thought into uh, this knife, looking at it on the website, and wondering if it was the right knife for me. So after a year and a half of use, pretty, pretty much steady, every time I go into the woods, this is one of the first knives I grab when I go out, I, I think I'm in a position now where I can give you some good, good opinions on it, and hopefully those opinions will help you decide if it's the right knife for you. So let's take a quick look at the sheath, and the reason I only want to look at it briefly is because the sheath design has changed quite a bit. The sheath you can see is pouch style. It is not sewn. It is riveted. That hasn't proven to be an issue at all. It's very strong. The leather that is used in this knife, or this sheath, is a bit soft. It is kind. Of, it's not a suede. It's kind of like a new buck leather. It's it's quite soft, but at the same time, it's held the knife in very well. It hasn't uh, fallen out at all. That's part due to the fact it's such a deep carry, as you can see, I, and it's weathered well. It hasn't uh, shown any really any signs of age. It is a dangler style. And it was my first knife that was a dangler style, and uh, you know what, I've really come to appreciate this. There is some pros and some cons. The pro is wearing a backpack. Having this a little lower on the hip, below the waist belt of my backpack, really has proven to be a benefit. The, the con to it is, though, is it can be a little bit more difficult to get the knife out, because it's not quite as rigid on the belt as, say, a, a higher carry is. Still, that's not too much of an issue. All I really have to do is reach over with my left hand, I grab the sheath, and then draw the knife out with my right hand. I did add a small lanyard to the end of the knife. It's a bit aesthetic, but it also has the function, as you can see how deep that was carried in the pouch. This allows me to, to get the knife out with a relative ease. So the knife design. Nine and a quarter inches long, four and a quarter inch blade, five inch handle. Four millimeter thick L6 steel, or five thirty seconds L6 steel. Scandinavian zero grind, roasted curly maple handles. Now what drew me to this knife was the size, the five inch handle. I have an extra large hand, it, it, uh, I, I wear a, an extra large mechanics glove and they're usually quite snug when I first put them on. So I was looking for a knife that had a good size handle to it and this one certainly fit the bill. As you can see, it fits my hand quite well. Really unique in this design is the large choil. And I wasn't sure if I was going to like that or not, but uh, you know what, I've really come to appreciate the choil on this. It certainly allows for a nice secure grip on the knife. And as you saw earlier, it, uh, it will feather stick well. It'll split well. It's a very sturdy knife. The tip is very robust. No worries about that chipping off. As you saw when I split the small kindling. A look at the profile of the grip. Now, I will say, for me, and this is probably not going to apply to you, it's a little thin right through here for me. So that when I'm grabbing around, the web of my hand is as high on the knife as I can get it. If I do a lot of carving, and I do mean a lot of carving with the knife feather sticking, this can do a little bit uh, of cramping, a little bit of tiring of my hand. But that's not an issue because I, I, you don't use the, do it that much. I have curved spoons with this, by the way. And one of the things I really appreciate about the design of the grip here is the transition from the grip onto the blade. Allows me a place to put my thumb in that reverse so I can do the chest lever cut. All right, so that is the Triple X Forester 2. And at this time, if you're looking to buy a knife, you really want, to, you really owe it to yourself to go to the Triple X website and take a look at their knives. Uh, the price is just unheard of in this day and age. They ship free. They're fully customizable, very reasonable, and very well made. So take a look at this one. It might be the one that fits your needs the best. So if, if you've enjoyed this video and you found it's been helpful to you, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, share it with your friends. Please leave any comments or questions regarding the XXX knife or anything else, and we'll see you in the next one.
Bye for now.